story emerging from Europe here in a letter to the German Chancellor Angela Merkel, the Interior Minister and Foreign Minister. 37 Israeli and Jewish academics accused the German anti-Semitism czar Felix Klein of so-called weaponizing anti-Semitism against critics of Israel. The issue was raised after Klein opposed the participation of a pro-boycott, divestment and sanctions professor at a publicly funded German cultural event that's set for this summer. And to get some more on the story here, we're joined by Terry Schwartzberg, an ethical campaigner. I believe you specialize in Holocaust issues as well, familiar with the communities there. What are the most significant issues around this story that you think our viewers should understand? Well, I think, first of all, that Felix Klein, the appointment was one of the big mistakes in modern German history, I would say. The man was completely unqualified. He was a diplomat expert on African marital rights. And to appoint somebody like that to be the voice for Judaism in Germany was a huge mistake, and we see the consequences of it now. I agree with the 37 academics. I think he should resign. Based on this issue, you know, what, what about the German Jewish community? Have they been involved in this? Um, it's We have, as everybody does in the world, we have huge issues of corona and everything else like that. Before corona, we were wrestling with the question of how safe is Judaism in Germany? What future do we have here? This is a very minor issue. It's a very ill-founded controversy, which is detracting from very big issues. Uh, now, what about the, on the issue of BDS, the boycott, div divestment and sanctions movement there? Do you have a sense for where German Jews stand on this issue? I think German Jews, I would say 95 to 98 percent of all German Jews completely reject BDS and see any espousal of it or any, even any discussion of it as being a stalking horse for anti-Semitism on part of the left wing in Germany. It makes them very nervous. They find it creepy. So why aren't they rallying around Klein then if he's trying to protect this issue in particular? He, because he's picked the wrong target. I mean, this academic is highly respected. Klein cites in a program, in you know, in a, a brochure, two paragraphs that are could, with the utmost of fantasy, perhaps be construed to be something about it, and nobody wants to get involved. It's just a wrong-headed attack on minor on a person who's not anti-Semitic, as far as we can tell. Now, where do you think this is going? You think he will resign? Where do you think this resolves? Well, you know, I can't predict, but I would say this. There are, I was shocked when he was appointed. We have 300,000 Jews in Germany. Each of us knows what anti Semitism feels like, what it's about. Many of the Jews in Germany are highly qualified, highly respected people, like Professor Michael Wolfson or Michelle Brenner in Munich, and all these people. I still don't understand the logic. I think he should resign, whether he will or not. Of course, I do not know the man personally. I cannot say. Terry Schwartzberg, thanks for uh, shedding some light on the issue for us.